What's up guys, welcome to our 19th video on HTML and CSS. In this video we're going to be talking about padding and we're going to be adding our image header into our web page. So it's going to look something like this, but not as crappy. So I'm going to reload this, get rid of that. And uh, first things first is we need to go ahead and find our image. So let me pull up, what's the image I'll be using? So I'm going to be using my own village park. Link I'm going to be using this one right here. If you uh, want to use your own, that's absolutely fine. If you want to use this one, I'll go ahead and show you how you can get it. Just go to, let me open up a browser. Sorry, I'm not really prepared for this video. Go to villageparkmedia.com. Here's my webpage, our webpage. And head over to tutorials. I think, I think something's wrong with my database. It's running really slow. Okay, so introduction to HTML, XHTML. Come on, baby. Head down here to image file. Here's the video that we're working on right now. Image file. You can do it. Okay, so what you're going to do is right click on this image and you're going to save it to your desktop and I titled my image logo.jpg whatever you want to title it as or again you can use your own let's do it okay so it's saved to my desktop now I'm going to grab my logo put it in here and I'll replace it because I just did it so now I have my logo in my root folder and uh, yeah I mean we don't really have too many images so we don't I'm not really using our images folder so you can just put it right here in our images folder and uh, yeah, it shouldn't be too confusing. So let's go ahead and add it in. So I'm going to create a CSS rule, and I'm going to call it logo. Seems fair enough. And this is what we want. We want we want padding. We want top padding, and we want left padding. So what do I think I want? I want about 30 pixels for top padding. So I'll go padding top. And real quick, padding is kind of like margin. It's It can be confusing to uh, a new web designer, but at after all, in some ways, they're kind of the same thing because white, it's just white space around an image or an object. But padding goes inside a border space and margin goes outside. So for uh, for like the wrapper or for the background, we wanted to use margin. But anything that goes inside something, we want to go ahead and use padding for that. So we're going to use padding top and we'll call it 30 pixels. Actually, that's probably too much. We'll do 15 pixels. And uh, I want padding left only about 10 pixels and I want I want to float it to the left the float CSS property is awesome because you could put an element to the left or right hand side which allows other elements to kind of wrap around it if we don't put the float element in everything will just be forced to go underneath our image so we definitely want to float it and it's our header image we want to put it on the left hand side and I think that's all we want to do so I'm gonna go ahead and save that pull up our HTML file, our index.html file, and we want this div to go inside both our outer as well as our wrapper, and let's go ahead and call it in. So we called it, what did we call it, logo? Yep. And I'll close it out right now. And okay, so we're going to have to source our image file. And what did we call it? We called it, where's our root folder? logo.jpg so logo.jpg and again an image uh, an image HTML tag does not need a closing tag but it does need that at the end so we're gonna save it open up our browser perfect there it is so what we have we have 15 pixels of padding right here and then we've got 10 pixels of padding right here because remember we already had that outer which created 30 more pixels to each side so that's perfect. That's exactly what we wanted to do. So hopefully you guys have an understanding of the difference between margin and padding. If you don't, ask me a question or uh, yeah, let me know. And uh, good luck in this video, guys. And I'll see you guys in the